All right, all right. Well, um, I've had my A1 uh, for quite a while, a few months at least now, and you know, I and like everybody else, I mean, I you know did my test prints, put it together, did my test prints, and all that good stuff, and um, and it's been doing great, right? And but I finally got around uh, to dealing with the poop. You know, I guess that's one of the first things everybody's doing. And there are a ton of, you know, the poop chutes or trays or uh, buckets or whatever you want to call them. I mean, there's tons of them on uh, on Maker World, right? And and a lot of them are really similar. It's just a matter of preference. And, and I looked at it and, uh, and I thought it was okay because actually, you know, we had an A1 mini first and we printed off a big, uh, I guess this one you can call a big bucket, you know, the poop bucket and, and it works great. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I forget which, which one this is and who to give credit to, but You'll see it on Maker World also, and you'll probably recognize it. Um, but it works great. It's just freaking huge, right? <laughs> it's, um, and it cracks me up because when we're looking at these things, sure, this is a mini. Here's the A1, the first bed slinger and all that stuff. But when you start adding all the stuff to it, you know, um, the AMS light, um, ideally, I would want to mount it on top, but everybody's you know kind of iffy on that they've been shown how it, it can rock back and forth um, so if it sits on the side and then you put this huge bucket poop bucket or whatever I mean the the footprint on this thing could be just absolutely huge you know when you compare the size over to, to the P1 uh, one of the P1S's or uh, the P1P's even uh, any of these it has the enclosure the AMS you can stack on top, and the only thing you have to get uh, clearance for is, you know, behind it. You know, where you have your power supply, you put a, uh, a poop chute back there, you have your external spool in the rear. But everything is right here, right? Um, so with the A1, yeah, I mean, you know, you have AMS on the side and all that good stuff. I mean, it takes up quite a bit of room. So... I wanted to make something that was not going to be entirely huge, right? Um, because with this A1, I don't have the uh, I don't have the AMS light on it. I just plan on using one spool at a time for now, anyway. You know, who knows? But uh, I'm going to do one, just one filament, you know, one spool, and. So I'm not dealing with a lot of poop on this thing. It's, uh, and I wanted to control it, you know, instead of having this big, you know, bucket with a big backdrop and all that stuff to, to catch the shooting poop. Um, <laughs> I wanted to put, I wanted to control it at the head, right? I wanted, when it, when it shoots it off, I want to control it at that point so that it would drop down. Um, into a tray, you know, that way it won't be just gigantic. Will it be a, a one piece job? Will it be, uh, two pieces? You know, that was up for grabs, but, um, well, let me show you what I came up with. So you can see here, I have this little fixture, um, and it's blocking the poop and so far, it has been dropping straight down into this tray. You can see a couple of the filaments there, one of the poops, and this one actually stuck to the piece. Oh, there it went. And uh, there's just, you know, I think four, yeah, there's only like four pieces in there. So I haven't done any really, really long-term tests on it, but so far it's been working pretty good. And and you can see it's it's not as huge and obtrusive as uh, as that Joker, right? That one does work good though. Don't get me wrong. 
but uh, with this one it looks a little more uh, a little more compact and this was my first version and you can see I was trying to you know have these generous fillets or rounds on it to kind of to kind of match the style of this whole thing right you have the big fillets on it and you know curved edges stuff like that but yeah you can see it's kind of hard to print that way all right so here it is in fusion 360 and uh you can see it's a pretty simple part to model up and i can backtrack and show you real quick what i did of course the first feature here that was just the uh the slot To slide on. There's the backing. And there's the first curve. That's the top curved part. And uh, yeah, just modeled it right there, the sketch. And so I was planning on doing a revolve to get that smooth edge. So I just created this. Uh, the axis on this edge right there. You can barely see it. And that is what I used to do this revolve. And it was just a 90 degree. Pretty simple. And that turned out pretty pretty good. Let's suppress that. And the rest of it, I was just sealing off. You can see I'm just sealing off that other side. And, uh, and that was it. Pretty, pretty simple model. But you can see the, uh, the results were less than desirable. It's just that, that round, you know, because it, it, you can see the way it, it prints down. And it's so hard to get a, a good clean print on that bottom curve, right? Yeah, and you can see, even when you slice it, there at the bottom. And that's where it re it's really tough to get a good smooth print that way. So, of course, um, I decided to switch from this and go over to the angled version. So you switch over and you can see this was, seems like there's a few more steps, but it was even it was just as easy you can see it just almost identical features there there's the first angle there's the second angle um, now you can see this uh, construction plane There's the plan I used to to cover the gap there, and I just made it, you know, off of these two edges, made the uh, so I can get a good sketching plane. Covered that up, and then oh, and then cleaned it up, and I just you know sliced, cut that away, so we'd have a good. Uh, Just a good clean edge and blocked off the sides. And this one I added rounds on the sharp edges. And that was it. And you can see when you're getting ready to slice it, it's just a good, clean, simple model. doesn't need any support and uh, and that was it yeah so you can see I I nixed the curves and replaced them with the angles just so that you know when you plop it down it, it prints very easily um, you can see where this slides over let's see if I can yeah 
So it just slides over the unit there, and it is a, a pretty tight fit. Um, so it doesn't vibrate off or anything. And originally I was going to make it so that there would be some uh, magnets on it, but eh, with a you know with a tight fit like that, there was no need. On this tray back here, yeah. Um, now I did design it. You can see here's the one with the big backdrop. And on both of them, I put provisions for for magnets. And yeah, so you can see uh, it's not a strong magnetic attraction, but enough to keep it on there. And because these magnets are on both sides, and it's just a really the, the the mounting bolts or screws, whatever. There's one here, one here on each side, and that's what it's attracting to. Everything else over here, no, wouldn't do it. So. And of course you can do with or without. This one's without the magnets. And it fits fine. And you know, off the few prints that I did off of this, it didn't budge an inch. You know, it's it's not really gonna, you know, force its way out. Um, but the provisions are there. If you want to use the magnets, great. I will put uh I'll put the links to the magnets. Uh the size and the link is probably be uh an Amazon link. But uh, but they'll be there. So yeah, so that was it. Just a real simple, simple design. But so far, it's working pretty good. Yeah, so so far, it looks like it's working pretty good. Just a real simple setup, um, nice and clean. And I will have these on Maker World. Um, and I'll probably have the three models. I'll have this piece, I'll have the, the low-level tray, and I'll have uh, uh, the tray with the, with the higher back on it, just in case you need it. You know, you have the option there. Because um, I don't deal with a lot of poop on this. Like I said, it's just, you know, a single spool that I'm using. And usually when I first start to print, um, it, it feeds through and it just gives a one-shot poop out of there and that's it and so far uh, a couple of them have actually stuck to this side um, but they've 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 all just dropped straight down so well they're there so uh, I guess that's it for this video so as always thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video